Hey everyone, this is Ben from Cheddarflow, and this new feature that we released at Cheddarflow is honestly one of my favorites. I love using this, especially for trading bigger cap stocks as well as the index. S&P 500, I like to trade this one throughout the day, and these are extremely helpful for figuring out uh, support and resistance levels. And here in this video, I will show you how I use it, not only in my own trading strategy, but also give you guys ideas uh, to use for maybe implementing your trading strategy along with Flow. Again, really like this feature, and I'm really excited right now to share all of the new features that we have along with this one. So uh, without further ado, I will get started. So the first thing that I wanna go into right now, uh, this is a totally new page. As you can see, uh, this is a new feature that we just released and going right into it automatically we are on the sp 500 that's what comes up first but you can search any symbol up here where my cursor is so if you wanted to look up apple aapl uh, it would come up show us the dark pool activity and you also can search for uh, whatever time period so if i wanted to go throughout the entire week just like the historical t uh, flow tab which i've shown you guys in other videos uh, you can click the 18th so that'd be the start of this past week click search on there and it would come up with all of the large uh, dark pool orders throughout that week. Um, anyways, going back to the S&P 500, which is what I want to talk about first here, uh, this is a very, very interesting feature to use, especially for day trading and swing trading. So you could still use it for long term, although I love using this because you can add or sell on certain levels that have a lot of dark pool accumulation. And what do I mean by that? Basically, on this chart, which you can zoom in on, um, it shows a bar at the most accumulated uh, points on the chart uh, for dark pool prints. And basically, what dark pools are, it is an exchange that um, the institutions that are buying and selling in it are not disclosing uh, if they are buying or selling, first of all. So you don't know if it was a buy or a sell at that level. Uh, obviously, someone always has to buy or sell in a transaction. Although, for example, if a large institution wanted to get out of their position because they made a lot of money, they're going to sell into it. And that could mean that there's more of a bearish thesis for the near term or long term going after that point. So uh, this is a way that institutions can kind of mask their orders uh, to just normal people in retail. But benefit of Shutterflow is you're going to be able to see all these prints coming through because we have access to these dark pool exchanges. So that is a major benefit because again, retail needs the best amount of power uh, to, in their hands in order to trade with these big dogs, like the big institutions that are out there. So by using this dark pool feature that we have on here now, not only can you use the order flow for our call and put flow, you now can also have direct access to these dark pool exchanges and uh, figure out what the big institutions are doing, which will only benefit your trading. So uh, basically on here, you're able to see these large prints. The ones with the bar that goes out the furthest are the ones that have more premium. So for example, this 453.63 on the S&P 500, this level had $1 billion in premium uh, in terms of accumulation right at that level. So this is going to act as a support and resistance because of how large uh, the premium was at this level. And you can literally see, I'll show you over here. If we go to a chart on the S&P 500, this was at 453. So I'll go to that 15 minute chart. You will see that there will be consolidation at this level just because of that dark pool print happening there. So uh, right here, let's look at the exact uh, level right here. Let's see, so it's 453.63. So we'll go over to this level, 453, roughly 63, and look at that. The 15 minute did not close over right at that level. I'll zoom in even further. It's hilarious how this works. Like I haven't even looked at this chart before here. It's just because I've been using this to trade for so long. Literally the top of the wick of this candle right here and this candle fell below and we sold off, which is insane to see that work in real time. So right here, it was sold off. It did not close a 15 minute above here and as a result fell further down. And this is because there was a large dark pool seller at this level. And as you can imagine, trading off of this because we saw 1 billion in premium you could take it uh, a short position there because depending on how overbought the market is which it has been for so long right now the past week has been just a ripper it's been continuously going up and up and up you can assume that this was a seller at this level and because it matched with the chart and on the chart right here we were not able to go above it and close above it you could take a short position off of that and you would have profited. And this is something that can go into next week. So you don't even have to use it for just day trades. This is something that you could have taken an over weekend swing as a short position just based off of this along with your technical analysis of that level. So this is very, very useful um, for determining where the stock price could go uh, for not only the indexes, but again, this also is gonna be something that works for Apple as well. So if we look at Apple on here, the premiums are gonna be a lot less than SPY just because that's what's receiving the biggest uh, amount of order flow. But 
Stuff that's over 100 million in premium is definitely some heavy accumulation. And on the chart right here, you can see our level, the one that's highlighted in more purple, which is the 149.24. This was acting as a resistance. So once it fell below, because there was a seller at this level, it was not able to reclaim it on here. So you tr it tried around this level, tried right here, and then boom, shot straight down. And if we looked at the chart, it'd be the same exact thing. Um, so this is just a rough chart for you to determine where these levels are. Uh, but then looking at a charting software or on your own, um, whatever you use, if you use like Thinkorswim or Weeble, Robinhood, you could also check at that level on there and you'll see it interact exactly as I just showed you with the S&P 500. So again, this is very, very useful uh, to have and this is going to up your trading game even more just because of that. One more thing with the new feature that we have here for dark pool uh, levels is the top level section. So I went over the chart roughly here. I've also went over the uh, prints below here that show the size of it and the amount of premium on it. But also we have this top level section, which is the top right here. And basically what this is doing is showing the most amount of accumulation just on this like chart. So the part that is the most purple is going to show the heavy accumulation level. So it shows in comparison to everything else. It's kind of like a pie chart. So if you're like thinking back to when you're in elementary school or middle school, you would have a pie chart. And basically uh, on that chart, it would show like the most amount of something as the biggest, which in this case is the uh, purple part right here. So this is the biggest amount of accumula accumulation. If you hover above it, it's going to show you the exact level uh, as you can see right above that. So it'd be 149.24, uh, which we knew by looking at here, but this is just another good visual to use. Uh, and then over here would show slightly less and then even less over here uh, for 40, 30, and 14% um, overall. So Again, I like to use all of these in conjunction with each other along with what I'm looking at on the chart like I showed you earlier in the video. All three of those things, or I guess four because we have the chart here, uh, the premium here, and the top levels along with the TA, all four of those things are crucial to my trading. I use it every single day, not only for day trading, but also for my swings just because it's gonna help with my probability of success overall. And as traders, we are always looking for the greatest odds of success in a trade. Because at the end of the day, this is something that is risky. We have to make sure we mitigate our risk as best as possible. And by looking at these levels for dark pool, these are going to help us find the best possible entry point for a potential day trade or swing. So I, again, really like using these. Uh, if you ever want to look at the times for those prints, all you have to do is type in the symbol on here. So for Apple, you can see on Friday, we have the tab on the side. All you have to do is click on the dark pool up here. It shows the exact time that print happened up here. So we had some after hours uh, and you could see all those prints from Friday as well. So if you really wanted to look at the time, you could here. But again, we have everything a trader could ask for. We have our order flow right here. It shows the calls. It shows the puts. We could see, is it a block print? It shows the block print shows that it's an institution because retail doesn't go off of those exchanges. Sweep shows that there's urgency to it. Split trades are if they're splitting it into like separate orders to make it seem smaller overall. Uh, again, we have the dark pool prints on the side here. This is everything you need to be a trader uh, and you could use it with whatever charting software you use um, in conjunction with that. And again, this is giving us the best odds of success and as traders, that's all we can ask for. So I really like this new feature that we have on here. We have a free trial for Cheddar Flow. So all you have to do, literally, you have seven days free to try out this new feature. There is no harm by trying it at all. You can cancel at any time uh, throughout that um, trial that you have. And literally, just try it out for seven days. I am sure you will like it just like I do. So uh, no harm in that. Just click in the description below if you want to try the free trial. And I will see you guys in the next video.